Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 8, Dobby's Plan Free Play for LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4. You can see on the right hand side we do get all the collectibles minus the one gold brick that we got for completing the story level. And uh, the true wizard is set and we're going to go for that. Now it is uh, key to note that you do need a Slytherin character, a key character, aka Grip Hook, and also a dark magic or dark arts character. Now in our case, uh, Professor Snape happens to handle both of those. However, there are a couple of other characters that would provide, uh, you know, the Slytherin disguise. We did pick up one of those. It was actually Harry's Slytherin disguise in level 1-6, Face of the Enemy. So if you've been following along and you got all those, you could go and purchase that. Otherwise, uh, we went ahead and used Professor Snape. So right off the bat, we're going to start here. We're going to use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and lift up the hatch here, which allows us access to drop down. Now, you might make note of those two flags up top that Leviosa was actually targeting. Uh, we're going to save those and come back for those in a little bit, but you are welcome to go ahead and grab those now. But it's important you nail that treasure chest there, open it up, use Leviosa to go ahead and smack that thing around. Actually, I think it's Reducto. And then it blasts that wall on the left, and it actually reveals one of the other items we need to get. But we're going to come back for that as well. So why are we doing that? Well, it's because we wanted to get them all in one fell swoop. We don't like splitting these items up and then do it oh well here's part one and part two and only if we have to so there's another one of those flags that we need in the back there are two different types of flags one you need to shoot which is in the back and the two you need to lift up with wingardium leviosa which were up on the top there all right so once you go ahead and nail dobby and knock him out of the way switch to a strong man we used hagrid because he was available to us and watch that step just like last time it's still a doozy and uh we'll go ahead and make our way across and smack dobby right in the kiss of one more time which then gives us access to a couple of pixies. Go ahead and use Immobilize to immobilize them. And a little Luma Solemn to get rid of the old tentacles there. The old snake. Whatever that is. I know it's like Devil Snare or something. I don't know. You, you guys can tell me down below, I'm sure. But uh, there are some bouncing bits. We're going to go ahead and skip those for the time being. And we're going to switch to our Dark Arts, our Dark Magic character, Professor Snape. And we're going to go ahead and use it on this little object in the back, which actually gives us the first character token. Now, we highly suggest you wait to fly that flag until after, because it kind of blocks your view. But uh, the flag will give you some extra studs, and then we go ahead and build up the staircase and keep on keeping on. Now, we do kind of follow Dobby all the way to the top, and instead of going all the way to the top, we're going to nail that first of four flags right below him, and we're going to make our way back and nail the other three as well. So there's the second one. You may have gotten all of these along your way, and you may not need to come back. If that's the case, feel free to use the quick link for the house crest number three, it looks like. And uh, otherwise, make your way all the way back to the beginning, nail the fourth one, grab the house crest, which happens to be blue for doing this. And we'll go ahead and make our way back up to the very top of the ladder where we started. And we'll nail the second house crest by taking out these four flags we got to raise with Wingardium Leviosa. The first two are at the very beginning, right where we start. The next two are basically at the end of this little segment. It's not the level, but it's definitely the end of this segment here where we follow Dobby into... Uh, well, you'll see right at the top of the ladder. Right up. Come on, wait for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are a few studs here, too, we might... Uh, recommend you getting, especially if you're going for that true wizard status. All you have to do is uh, use a little Wingardium Leviosa and just snap that box in the back and it builds up the old, uh, I don't know, what that is, it's some, some sort of old school music player. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and lift up the other two at the very end of this area here and Booyuka Shao. Yellow house crest number two is now ours. So go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa on the purple rock or purple orb there and lift it up on the chain, which will then give us access into the next area. Now in this area, we're going to go ahead and smack Dobby around a little bit. I don't know what is why we're so uh, abusive towards Dobby. Actually, I do know, but uh, for now, we're going to pretend like we don't know. And we're going to continue to get studs, and we're going to need that strong man one more time. So switch on over to Hagrid. And Hagrid is available because he's part of this level. Uh, it's kind of weird how the free play, sometimes if the character was originally available in the story, they will allow you to use it in free play even though you haven't purchased him. Uh, but it is important. We are going to get Hagrid here, and, uh, well, shortly, I will say that. Uh, all right, down in the middle here, you got to build these bricks to get up top. It's not a matter of rocket science. Just build it so you can get up to the top. 
Now, it is important to notice that there is a picture frame hanging right there. Or it needs to be hung, I should say. We'll get to that in just a minute. Go ahead and get Dobby out of the middle uh, porta potty there. And we'll go ahead and smack him around, which then he vaporizes himself over to the other side. It's more of a teleport, I guess. But uh, now is a good time to go ahead and fly that flyer there. So we'll go ahead and hang the old picture frame. And we'll come back to that in just a hot second. We are going to take out some pixies with Immobilize. And then we're going to go ahead and wave. But see, it's important to note that you need a slithering character here. So uh, we're going to use Professor Snape again. And we get the one of two. The other one is across the bridge here. We're going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa one more time to lift this guy up and hang it up. And then we'll go ahead and wave to it again. Needs to be another Slytherin character. So, again, you could have used the Harry one. We got Harry's disguise from uh, the, the last area of uh, the first year. But once you get them both, you'll go ahead and pick up that house crest and then make your way back across and zap that silver lock and open that treasure chest to free that student in peril. And uh, we'll turn that frown upside down. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. So over on the right side, too, there are a couple of other bricks. Let's say you fell down and you accidentally missed the picture frame for the Slytherin waves. Well, you can use that little jumper, the Johnny jump up to get back up there. And then you're going to want to make your way across. And if you need some studs, grab them. But uh, use Leviosa on the barrel here to shake him out. Shake it up. Ooh, ooh. All right, now that we got him out, we slapped him again, and it takes us into the hospital here where we actually need to concoct a potion to help old uh, Harry, because Harry's under duress. But uh, in order to do so, we need three items for the cauldron. The first one's going to be right over on the front right side, or back right side, I guess it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use Leviosa on the skeleton bones to make damn bones, damn bones, dance some. I don't know. Dance some. How about that? Ha <laughs> ha. Not very good, but it finished it. All right, now over on the back right side, too, you can see there is some studs. I failed a couple times, so I didn't want to waste any more uh, of your precious sweet minutes here. But uh, you're going to have to hop in. There is some earmuffs, and we need it because, uh, well, we don't really want to have to listen to this mandrake. As you could tell, Hermione isn't that thrilled, but you need him. You need to bring him all the way up to the other side of the door here. And uh, shatter the glass with them, which actually gives us the second item for the cauldron, which happens to be one of those poipal flowers. So once you grab that, go ahead and slam dunk a Rooney in there. We didn't actually grab the uh, the bone, so we'll grab that bone real quick and slam dunk it in there. Now we only need one more item to complete the cauldron, but it happens to be in the next room. So we'll go ahead, and on the left-hand side, there is a child uh, laying on a bed. Go ahead and lift his bed up with Leviosa, and it should free some parts and build up a knight that will destroy the door and allow you access through. Now, on the next bed on the left, there are some bouncing... Well, it's a bouncing bed. you got to use Leviosa to put the sheets up and make the bed and then bounce away and keep on bouncing the next bed because you'll get character token number two. Now, character token number three is actually in the next room, um, it's real simple. We're going to run back there with a dark arts or dark magic wizard. In our case, it's still Professor Snape, even though we got our Beats by Dre headphones on. Oh, we lost them. But uh, you'll notice this little machine here. It's almost like one of those old, like, uh, fortune-telling machines back from, like, the early days. But go ahead and use the dark magic and then smack it one more time to grab that last character token. And the house crest, number four, is actually in the back. So pull out your key and spin it like it's hot. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's not really that hot, though, I'll be honest. And Hermione, you can go ahead and use the old bookcase there for Hermione. That just gives you some studdage. But uh, use Wingardium Leviosa over on the spider web, kind of right where you came into the room here. Uh, once you get rid of the web once, it'll go ahead and uh, the spider will drop down and make another web. This time the spider will stay. You can grab him. And go ahead and slam dunk him. And guess what, ladies and gents and boys and girls? That's it. All right, we got all three of the character tokens, as we just proved right there. And all four house crests were obtained as well. Pretty simple stuff, really. Pretty quick, easy level. And uh, true wizard status was up there a wee bit, but uh, no feat for us. Go ahead and stack up that studdage. We're actually getting close to that million point again. We've had to spend a little, little bit of money, but... Uh, we're saving it. And turn that frown upside down, because we saved that student in peril. And a couple of bricks, as promised. And guess what? 
then the queue to exit the level. So you know what that means. That's it for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Level eight, Dobby's plan, free play. And uh, we covered all the collectibles, and hopefully we uh, helped you get there quickly and easily. And if we did, and you want to thank us, or maybe you have a suggestion for us, or whatever the case may be, head on over to our social pages, such as Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have a G+, a Twitch, and an Instagram account, as well as HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guide. So... Uh, lots of uh, fun stuff to be had there. We always appreciate feedback on things you'd like to see on the site or things you don't want to see on the site. And um, oh, to the yeah. So that's pretty much it. So, hmm. What is it that I always say at the end? Oh, yeah, that's right. As always, until next time. It was all Dobby's plan, I swear. So